Happy morning all the children, all of you. Sugar also contains carbohydrates. Okay. And now we 
we come to the next nutrient in this group. What is that? So fats. Fats. Fats also give us energy. But we require fat in very less amount. Because they are the, mostly they are the oily foods. Right? Like oil. And ghee. Butter. Right? And ghee. Of course. Okay. So cheese also falls in this category. All these things contain fats. Why are they required less in amount? Most because if we take it in large amount, it will uh, make us fat. It will make us fat. It will make us fat, yes. So in very small amount they are required. But they are also very important for the body. Right? And they, yes, they give us more energy than carbohydrates. If we eat a little amount of fats, that only is required in the body. Right? So, fats are the second, in, second type of nutrient in this group. We come to the next group that is protective food. Okay? So, what is protective food? Carbohydrates, proteins and fats are the major nutrients in our food. Okay, what are the protective food as you can, as the name suggests, what do you understand by this? Protective food. They protect us from disease. Very good. They protect us from disease. Very good. So they fight against the diseases as the soldiers fight against the enemy. In the same way, they fight against the different diseases. So we require protective food to protect us. Now I am going to show you this. What is this? Very good. And what is this? Carrot. Carrot. Very good. And what is this? Tomato. Tomato. Very good. And this one? Apple. We all like to eat apples. Sometimes we don't like, but we have to eat, right? Because all these things fall in which category? Protective. And what are the two nutrients that are there in this group? Vitamins and minerals. minerals. Vitamins and minerals. minerals. Okay. So vitamins and minerals protect us against different types of diseases. Right? And the next category that is uh, of the body, body, yes, body building body food. Building. Okay. And uh, okay. One of the students, you come here. What is this? Now for that reason, 
work. What is important? Protein. Okay. For the maintenance, the development and the production of cell protein is important. Okay. And during the period of growth, now you all are in this stage when you are growing. When your body needs more amount of protein. Why? Because you all are growing. Right? You are in the growing years. So this protein is required by children in a very large group. Clear? Yes, yes. We also require protein but adults require protein in lesser amount than children. Okay. Protein is also required by patients and convalescents because they are recovering. Yes. The production of cells in the body is required. That is okay, right? Understood? Yes. So there are three types of food groups and there are five different types of protein. Apart from this, what else to be required in the body on everyday basis? Plus water and water rough and rough edge. Very good. Who can tell me what is rough edge? Who can tell me? Yes, everybody. Yes, the food particles that are needed for our body but they are not digested. But they help us to fight against diseases. Food particles is not food. The food that is very good. Sit down. Ria, anything else you would like to add? The fibers which are present in our food which helps the fibrous food. Okay. So, fibrous food. What does it mean? Fibrous food? Food? Apples contain a peel outside. So that peel along with the apple we have to eat. Okay, that fiber helps in keeping the elementary system, that is the stomach, clean. How? It is a fibrous food, it is not digested. Now what happens to that? When it moves through the elementary system, elementary canal, okay, through the intestine, small intestine, large intestine, it takes away whatever food is stuck in those places and it takes away all that food along with it and it keeps, maintains the maintains the elementary system. Yes. Okay. It keeps the elementary system clean. Okay. So, for that reason, roughage is very important. Understood? Okay. Next, we come to the next thing that is not a nutrient but it is very important for the body, for all the systems of the What is it? Water. Water. Very good. Okay. Water maintains all the systems of the body, right from the brain to the toe. Everything, every organ in the body requires water. Okay. So, water is the next thing that we require. Let us see some of the sites now. Let's look at how we get these nutrients and how they help us to grow and be healthy. Carbohydrates are also called energy giving food. Like I said, energy giving food. They give us energy. energy. Because we have to do such a lot of work every day. So we require a lot of energy. Yes. If we don't eat carbohydrates, what will happen to us? Oh, I'm feeling so tired today. Let us sleep for some more time. This happens to us, right? Yes. Why? Because sometimes it happens that we lack carbohydrates in the body. We lack energy at that time. Okay? So, let us see. Rice, wheat, maize, sugar, potato, fruits, and bread are all carbohydrates. Who likes to eat maize? We all like to eat things. Okay, okay, put your hands down. Great right. foods. People who do more physical work need more energy okay. and so should take more carbohydrate foods. People who do more physical work. Can you name any such person? The swimmers. The swimmers. Very good. And laborers. Very good. Farmers and laborers need more and more amount of carbohydrates. Why? Because they do a lot of physical activity. You all have seen that? Yes. Okay, let us move on. 
Proteins are also called bodybuilding foods. Milk, cheese, eggs, chicken, fish, pulses, and soybean are some of the foods of which Okay. How many of you are like cheese? Okay, the whole class likes cheese. Okay. So these are some examples of what type of nutrients they provide what type of nutrients? Proteins. proteins. Very good. Next. In proteins. Proteins help to grow muscles and to repair the damaged tissues. Fats in our food keep our bodies warm. We get fats from food such as oil, butter and nuts. Our body requires very less fat. Our body requires very less fat. But it is not so that we do not require fat. We require fats. Okay. They keep our body warm. Okay. And apart from that, they give us energy that is stored in the body. And when required, at that time, that energy is used. Okay. Vitamins and minerals are also called protective foods. We get vitamins and minerals from fresh fruits and vegetables. All types of fruits and vegetables contain some type of vitamin or medicine. And mineral, it is possible that one thing contains more than one type of vitamin or mineral. Carrots, you can tell me what type of uh, vitamin or mineral is there? You can tell me. Vitamin A. And carrot is very important for the good health, good health, the good maintenance of the eyes. Understood? Okay. And, uh, okay, one more thing I have not shown you. It's very, it's loved by everyone. What is this? No, 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 no. This is a lemon. Lemon. And you all know how to make dash. What is this? Da dash? Vitamins and minerals are called micronutrients because they are needed in very less quantities. Vitamins and minerals are required for good eyesight, strong bones, and healing wounds. Okay. One more thing that you should all know is about macronutrients and micronutrients. <laughs> Understood? What are macronutrients? The word macro means big. So, the nutrients which are required in more amount that are called macronutrients. And in this category, we have carbohydrates, proteins and then fats. Fats is required in very less amount, but still it is required. Okay? And basically we have carbohydrates and proteins in this category. In the category of micronutrients, micro means small. That is why we say microorganisms, right? Microscope, that is why, okay? So, the word micro means very small. So, these two vitamins and minerals are required in very less amount. But all these fruits and vegetables are required by our body for the maintenance and healthy functioning of the body. Understood? Yes. Okay. So now, from now onwards, when your mother gives you something to eat, don't say, no, 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 mommy, I won't eat. No, don't say that. Okay. She cooks food. And which food is the healthiest? Homemade food. Homemade food. Healthiest. Homemade food. Or outside food. Homemade food. Exactly. So from now onwards, nobody will eat junk food. Once in a while it is okay but not every day. And one more thing that we should avoid is soft drinks. Soft drinks. Very good. And lots of chocolates every day. Sweets. Yes. Because they cause damage to our system, our body and also to the teeth. 
This cavity is yes because Let us see more about these nutrients. Summary. Carbohydrates give us energy. Proteins help to grow. Fats keep our bodies warm. Vitamins and minerals give us protection from diseases and keep us healthy. Now, let us move on to the next topic that is balanced diet. As I told you, I like to eat carbohydrates, I like to eat bread, roti, paratha, everything. But I am avoiding fruits, I am avoiding dal, I am avoiding non-vegetarian food. Okay. Will my body be healthy? No. 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 Okay. I am eating carbohydrates, that is good. But apart from that, what else does my body require? Vitamins and minerals and Proteins, fats also. So all these nutrients have to be in a proper amount and that food should be eaten by us every day. It is not so that on Sunday I am going to take a balanced diet, rest from Monday to Saturday I am going to avoid everything. No. Every day, in every meal, we should include all these things, right? From fruits and vegetables to fats, then Components of food and balanced diet. We eat food to live, grow and be healthy. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals are the five components of our food. These are the five components of the food. Right? These are the five types of nutrients. Now you remember, what are the three types of food groups? Yes, yes. Okay. So now we are going to see that what is the yes, balance. Carbohydrates are also called energy giving food. Grains such as rice, wheat. So grains, all types of cereals. Okay. Right from rice, wheat and other types of grains. Huh? Like sorghum, bajra, jawar, maize, ragi. All these come in the group of carbohydrates. They give us energy. What do they give us? Energy. Very good. Okay, let us move on. Eat, maize and potato, fruits and bread are some sources of carbohydrates. People who do need more energy should take more carbohydrates. Proteins are also called bodybuilding food. Milk, cheese, eggs, chicken, fish, now, pulses, and soybean are some. There are many people who do not eat non vegetarian food, right? Yes. So for them, we have the different food sources. For example, soya bean is there, pulses are there, right? Milk, cheese, these also contain a lot of protein. Okay, so that can be compensated. There is no problem if you don't eat non-vegetarian food. Okay, right. Sources of proteins. Proteins help to grow muscles and to repair the damaged tissue. Fats in our food keep our bodies warm. We get fats from foods such as oil, butter and nuts. Our body requires very less fat. Vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. Why are they called Vitamins protective help food? in strengthening of bones. Fine. Why are they called protective foods? Strong. Our immunity is built if we eat these different types of fruits and vegetables. Okay. We develop a good resistance. Eating diseases, healing wounds, and proper functioning of organs such as eyes and brain. We get vitamins and minerals from fresh fruits and vegetables. In order to grow and develop properly, we should eat 
a balanced diet. A balanced diet is the one that includes appropriate quantities of each nutrient and also adequate amount of water and roughage. Okay, so what is a balanced diet? A diet that contains all types of nutrients that we should eat and along with that proper amount of roughage and sufficient food. Okay. It is suggested that we should drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. Okay. That makes it around 2 to 2.5 liters but it depends on the person also. It differs from person to person. Okay. So, at least 2 to 2.5 liters of water we have to drink on everyday basis and we have to take sufficient amount of roughage. Why? As I told you to keep our stomach clean. Okay. It removes all the dirty materials along with it and it is then ejected out of the body. So our stomach remains clean. Right? So a balanced diet is a combination of food which contain different types of nutrients. Proper amount of carbohydrates that should be more than protein, vitamins and minerals and fats also in proper amount. And should we eat a balanced diet every day or on a single day? Every day. Yes, in every meal. Okay, if you take three meals per day, then all the three meals should be balanced. Right? Okay? okay. Let us see further. Roughage is the undigested part of vegetables. It helps in proper movement of food in our intestines. Summary. Carbohydrates give us energy. Proteins help to grow. Fats keep our bodies warm. Vitamins and minerals give us protection from diseases and keep us healthy. A balanced diet includes appropriate quantities of each nutrient. Okay, so you all have understood what is a balanced diet? Yes. From now onwards, if you feel like I don't like to eat this food, try to eat that food because all types of food are important for us. Every type of nutrient is required in the body. Okay, some give us energy. Some nutrients give us protection against diseases. Some nutrients help to build up our body. Okay, so all and every type of nutrient is required by our body. Apart from the nutrients, two things which are not counted as nutrients, still they are very important, roughage and water. water is such a substance which is required for the proper functioning of the body by all the organs. Each and every organ requires water. Okay? And roughage is important for the proper functioning of the stomach elementary canal. Okay? All that is the dirt and all everything that is accumulated over there, the roughage takes out everything along with it because that is the undigested food so it takes out everything and that is ejected out of the body right understood yes sir. okay okay let us move on with the next thing that is excuse me teacher yes teacher please can I bring water yes of course yes let's uh, tell me uh, do you like to eat cakes Yes. yes. And uh, whose favorite food is idli? Yes. So we find it is pretty tasty, right? Yes. And uh, so these things, do you think we use the same technique and same way for making all these food? No. We use different cooking methods for making different types of food, right? Yes. You must have seen your mother cooking food in the kitchen. Sometimes she boils the food. Sometimes she fries with a lot of oil. Sometimes she gives a little bit of oil and then she cooks the food. Right? Sometimes she bakes the food. So we have different cooking methods. And what are these cooking methods? 
Can anyone tell me? Yes. Steaming frying baking and boiling. Very good. What do we boil generally? Potatoes, rice, eggs. Right? And what do we steam? Chilies are steamed. Momos are steamed. Right? And rice. Rice is uh, boiled. Okay. And what is baked?